Hello, everyone, and welcome to Level 1 Prodigy Basics. This training is for educators who want to learn more about how to get started with Prodigy. Our agenda today will cover what is Prodigy, the student experience, the teacher dashboard, how to create assignments, and how to view reports. So let's start off with what is Prodigy? Well, Prodigy in a few words is adaptive, aligned, engaging, effective, and fun. In short, Prodigy is digital game-based learning. Now, if you've never heard this phrase before, let's break this down a little bit. Digital means that Prodigy is an online and app-based platform. Game-based means there's objectives, storylines, and rewards. But here's the key piece, learning. Prodigy is adaptive, aligned to instruction, easily differentiated, and provides real-time data. Prodigy's mission is to help every student in the world love learning. But how do we do this? The number one way we do this is that all in-game math and English content is free, and the teacher account and reporting is too. Prodigy is standards aligned for both math and English, which helps you teach the standards you need to teach. Prodigy is time-saving, which means it automatically grades and provides reports, and that means there's no need to hunt for worksheets or have to grade them. And finally, Prodigy is easy to use because it automatically adapts to your students. You can also use Prodigy with peace of mind because Prodigy is safe and secure. Now let's move into the student experience. What does learning on Prodigy look like for your students? Well, to start off, Prodigy begins with a placement test. The placement test looks like any other in-game content, so it doesn't look like a traditional test, which means it doesn't provide any experience of testing anxiety for your students. This means you can get reliable data without having testing anxiety being something that holds back your students. They'll see this test again in January, which means you can compare the results from August to January to make sure they've grown. Here's a glance at what your students will see on Prodigy Math and English. Let's take a look at the student experience. We'll start with Prodigy Math. On Prodigy Math, students are wizards participating in epic math battles. In order to continue in the game, they must answer math questions. You'll see a helpful hint feature as well as a read aloud button. Students can use the digital tools such as pencils and erasers to solve problems. They can use a mouse, a trackpad, or a touchscreen. There's also digital manipulatives like counters, coins, fraction strips, and base 10 blocks, which means they can continue using the strategies they've already learned in class. Now let's take a look at Prodigy English. In Prodigy English, students collect resources to craft items and build their own village. Taking actions in Prodigy English requires stamina, which is the lightning bolt at the bottom of the screen. When a student runs out of stamina, they must answer English questions to gain more. You can see that there's a helpful hint feature as well as a read aloud button. Prodigy English also has a social component because students complete tasks to help their community members. Here's a look at a math question. You'll see those helpful features and the digital manipulatives as well. Here's an example of an English question. This one is for reading comprehension, focusing on author's purpose. This shows you that there's more to Prodigy English than just phonics, vocabulary, and grammar. There's reading comprehension too. The teacher account is where you need to go to align content, check your reports, and make sure your class is running smoothly. The first thing you're going to want to do is to create an account. You can create an account with Google, Clever, or ClassLink, or you can create it with an email and a password. If your school uses Google, Clever, or ClassLink as a single sign-on tool, make sure you create your account using these methods. It'll make integration much easier. The next step is to add your students. You can automatically roster your students when you import your class with Clever. You can automatically roster your students when you import with Google Classroom too. If you don't use these single sign-on tools, you can add your students manually, and there's two ways to do this. The first way is with students who already have existing accounts. You're going to want to have them log in, and then you're going to provide them with your classroom code. When they input the classroom code, they're going to be linked to your classroom. For students who do not have accounts, you're going to want to create new accounts for them. 
And you can do this by simply typing in their first name, their last initial, and Prodigy will automatically generate logins for them. Next up, we're going to take a tour of the teacher dashboard. Let's take a look. The teacher dashboard gives you access to everything you need. You can toggle back and forth between math and English. You can align your classroom instruction with Prodigy by creating an assignment. Try to make a habit of visiting your dashboard at least once a week. There's a student leaderboard that updates in real time. You can reward your students each week based on this leaderboard. Next is the class challenge tab. Your class can collectively work together to beat other classes in your region. You can even print certificates for the class challenge and student leaderboard. This is an easy way to regularly recognize student achievement and keep parents informed. One of the most important aspects of Prodigy is creating assignments. By creating assignments, you make sure that the classroom content you're teaching aligns with the content that students are seeing on Prodigy. Let's take a look on how to create those assignments. There are two places to create an assignment. You can use the Assignment widget or the Assignments tab. When you click Create Assignment, it will default to the grade level you teach, but you have access to all grade levels, making it easy to differentiate for your students. You can select the whole topic or the specific skills. The eye icon shows an example question for the skill. Prodigy will show the estimated time needed for students to complete the assignment. You can change the number of questions per skill to make the time shorter or longer. You can assign it to the entire class or to specific students. You can rename your assignment, making it easier to find later. For Prodigy English, topics are organized using Common Core standards. There is a search bar to help you find what you're looking for. Prodigy English has comprehension, grammar, phonics, and vocabulary skills. You can build an assignment to address all the components of your literacy instruction each week. And here are some assignment ideas to give you an idea of how to replace what you're currently doing with assignments on Prodigy. If you want to do a quick check, just assign one or two skills to your students. They'll be able to complete this in about five to 10 minutes. For independent work, you can assign whole topics or multiple skills to students to complete in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can also do test review on Prodigy by assigning all the topics the students will see on the test and have them work on it all week long. For spiral review, assign previously taught content throughout the year to help students retain those skills. For intervention, you can assign content that addresses gaps and targets intervention goals for MTSS, RTI, or even IEPs. You can assign content that matches the goals and then have the data you need to track intervention progress. On the other end of the spectrum is enrichment. You can assign content above grade level to high achieving students to help those students grow as well. For homework, you can assign content at the end of the day for students to work on at home. But Prodigy makes differentiation easy because you can assign content to the entire class or to just specific students. Now let's move on to reports and data. You want to make sure that you're checking your reports weekly so that you can modify your instruction as needed. Let's take a look at the in-depth reports provided in both Prodigy Math and Prodigy English. Prodigy's reports update in real time, which means you don't have to wait for the data to come in. The placement test report summarizes your class's performance on the placement test. Prodigy shows the overall placement for your students as well as their placement for each domain. You can view their progress, grade placement, and view details of the skills that are above, on, or below grade level. The detailed breakdown shows the exact questions that students answered during the placement test, making it easy to see exactly what a student needs help with. The reports you'll use most often are the assignment reports. The assignments you create in Prodigy are automatically graded for you. You can view the report and sort the data to easily spot struggling students. You can hover over the number to see the question or scroll down to see the question and student responses. The next report is the student activity report. This report shows you all the skills your students were working on during a chosen time period. It shows the accuracy percentage for those skills, helping you identify areas to work on.
The Curriculum Progress Report shows you an overview of class mastery for your grade level domains. For a more detailed look at skills, you can click for details. Prodigy English also has reports. The Assignment Report allows you to track student mastery of skills you've assigned. The Student Activity Report shows the number of questions students have answered each day. The Weekly Activity Report shows all the skills your class worked on during the week and displays student performance, allowing you to intervene and target skills for reteaching. Next up is our Manage Classes section of the Teacher Dashboard. This is where you want to go to do all the behind the scenes sorts of things with your classes. The Manage Classes tab helps you keep your class running smoothly. You can find your class code, add new students, and view login details for students. This button will generate a PDF list of logins and passwords, as well as a login card for each student. In the Actions tab, you can add a co-teacher to your classroom by typing in the email associated with their Prodigy account. You can invite parents by copying the invitation and pasting onto a class website, or you can invite parents by pasting in their emails. You can also download PDF letters in English and Spanish to print and send home with students. So in summary, we talked about how to set up your account, the student experience, the teacher dashboard, creating assignments, viewing reports, and inviting parents. In order to have success with Prodigy, make sure you're using Prodigy Math and English in your classroom every week. Think about the kinds of assignments you wanna give your students and how you can assign them on Prodigy. You wanna also make sure you visit your teacher dashboard at least once a week. I made it a habit of doing this every Friday morning in front of my students. I would show them the student leaderboard. I would show them the class challenge tab. I would reward those students who made the top three, and I would assign next week's content right there in front of them. Also, make sure you're creating those assignments and viewing the reports weekly. This is going to help you make the most of Prodigy. Thank you so much for watching our training. Please make sure you look out for our next training video, Advanced Training, to learn some more tips and tricks.